asking yourself this morning, what does all this have to do with me? You know, I, I'm thrilled that those nine people came through and they found peace. But what does that have to do with me? So, the truth is, everybody here, some point in their life, you're seeking for peace. All of us. You see, we all have something in common with those nine people. Because unless you found Jesus, you really lack true contentment. You really lack true peace. You know, it's, it's interesting. I want you to think just how much we have in common. In 2000, uh, several governments got together. They did this huge study. And you know what they found in that huge study? They found that there's not many races. There's only one race. Not many races. One race. Now, there are different people groups, but only one race. And do you know who the father of that race is? See, that's what we all have in common. The same father. No, it's not God. God's not all of our fathers. He created all of us. But the father that we all have in common is Adam. Every single one of us. And do you know what dear old dad did for us? He gave us sin. And every single one of us have been infected since the time we were born with sin. So we have the same father. We have the same disease. And one day all of us are going to have to stand before the creator when we all die. Now, sin shows up in many different forms. Sin shows up in alcoholism. Shows up in drug use. Shows up in sexual addiction. It shows up in lack of morals. Shows up in lack of peace. So it shows up in many different forms. But sin has the same thing in common. We all have it. And you know, we didn't need that study to tell us what the Bible already told us. Told us. It had already told us that Adam was our father. And when Adam sinned in the garden and passed sin on to all of us, all of us were born not just with that sin, but we were born with a, a hole right here. A void. Some of us fill it with money. Some of us fill it with relationships. Some of us fill it with drugs. But we all have something lacking in our heart. And you look around and you... You see evil everywhere. You say, well, Pastor, that word sin, that's a, I don't believe in that. Really? What do you think? People ask all the time, you know, what's going on in the world? Where does all this wickedness, this evil, these murders, all this come from? Sin. There's no denying it. All the evil that you and I experience and is experienced everywhere is a product of sin. And you and I, we have that same disease. But the great thing is, this morning, what you witnessed is this. I want you to listen very closely. I've heard people say, well, you know, you get a second chance with God. No. No. It's not a second chance. See, what those people that came this morning are telling you is they're not taking Christianity. They're not taking Jesus. They're not adding Him to their life and trying to do better. Because we've all tried that, and that's miserable, isn't it? What they did is they took their old life and they gave it to Jesus and he buried it with him in the grave and he gave them a new life. You see, it's not about uh, uh, doing better or a second chance. It's about a whole new life. Would you like a, uh, not just a fresh start, but a new life? New desires? A new future? That's what Jesus offers. That's what they were talking about. They were saying that they took this old life that, that had been controlled by sin. And you heard many of them in different directions that sin has taken all of us. Our search for some kind of hope, some kind of value, some kind of meaning in life. And we all go in different directions. Some go to work, some go to, to the bank, some go to bed, some go to the drug house. But we're all seeking peace. But Jesus took their old life and he buried it with him and he gave them a new life. Do you like a new life this morning? That's, that's what he has to offer. I want you to bow your heads this morning. I don't want anybody looking around.